So, um, yeah. <laughs> Let's All start right. with, uh, oh yeah, we have to do our clap. But a soft clap, because he's right here. All right. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Everybody. Hello. It's been a while. Super long while, but what is time? I know. You like my hair? <laughs> I know it's a little tall. This, um, this is what new parenthood looks like. Um, I've been trying to take my hair out for about three weeks now, and this is all as far as I've gotten so far. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, <laughs> this month, um, our son is here, and yeah. he is. Six weeks old. He's six weeks and four days old, and he is the joy and light of our life. He's sitting right over here. I don't yes. want to put him on camera for risk of him getting overstimulated. Yeah. We, we we need to speak for about 15 solid minutes, and he is awake. So who knows if that's gonna happen? Yeah, he's very very awake right now. It is very very silly, very very silly. But uh, the hospital itself was wild. You saw that on the last video where we were there for like uh, half the week. We got back on Tuesday night. Wednesday we were night? there from Friday to Tuesday. Yeah, Friday so to Tuesday. We explained it in the other video mm -hmm. that I had low amniotic fluid and that I had to be high. Bye -bye. Induced. I and our understanding of the inducement process uh, didn't really like how do I say this? We didn't realize that it would be 40 solid hours until we were at hour 28. But to be fair, most uh, inductions take between 12 and 24 hours, and mine just happened to take longer because I was zero centimeters dilated because this guy didn't want to come out. But we explained all of that in the previous video. When we came home, oh, well, not when we came home, so after I gave birth, um, <laughs> I was as big as a house. I still have, you know, some of my baby weight left, but I was as big as a house because I swole up. All of the fluids from the saline and all of the medicine that they were pumping through my system stayed in my body and my hands, how big were they? Oh, oh, they were they were big old sausages. Uh, she it came home head. looking like Veruca Salt from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. It was just, uh, that's just what happens when you get pumped full of fluids for 40 hours straight. Like, you, 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 the fluids don't have anywhere to go other than your fingers. <laughs> and and uh, ankles. Ankles as well. The, um, they were like she, massive. She got the real big waddle. <laughs> it was so, it was so massive. Oh, good morning. But it was also one of those things where, like, that settled down over the course of two weeks. What didn't settle down was our little dude, because uh, we were hard charging for breastfeeding. Because, yeah, so we met with the lactation consultant. Um, at the end of the birthing video, uh, you'll hear me say, oh, here comes the nurse. Well, it was actually the lactation consultant, and they were telling me that, hey, your colostrum's gonna start kicking in, and his stomach is like this big, so he doesn't need a lot to be full. So I was going off of that. So I'm like, okay, yeah, we're fine. I had read about breast milk, um, breastfeeding. I had attended all the online classes. I spoke with the lactation consultant. Oh boy, when we got home and he started hollering and I tried to, uh, I tried to get him to latch and he did, he's a really good latcher. However, because I was induced, I had an induced labor, there was no milk. You know, I might, I may have had the colostrum, but I had no milk, and this child was hungry. Yes, uh, <laughs> her brain was informed, hey, you're going to give birth whether you want to or not, but no one actually told her boobs or her uterus or anything like that until after it happened. And, but you know, we are sleep deprived because over at the hospital during that long labor process, even though we are in a constant state of kind of napping, <laughs> it's not restful. It is not restful in the slightest, so we're coming home all dreary, uh, she's still wheelchair bound uh, somewhat and we're just kind of wandering around this apartment with the screaming baby going like, what, what do we do? And it was me, Jeff, and my mom and three grown adults could not figure out what was wrong with this child. So from, we got home on Tuesday and then his first appointment was on Friday and the doctor, the, uh, his pediatrician said, he lost 14 ounces. So he was born seven pounds, 14 ounces, and he lost all 14 ounces, and she was upset at me. She mommy shamed me. I cried in the parking lot. I had no idea. I knew he was screaming, but 
I thought I was feeding him. I, I thought that I had a little bit of milk, you know. Be, he was latching really, really well. I thought he had a little bit of milk. Uh, because they told me it, his stomach was so small that it doesn't take much milk. You, you know, we were changing his diaper. We were talking to him and singing yeah. to him. And he was so unhappy. Turns out, I, he was getting milk, but it just wasn't enough. So we had to start supplementing with formula. Which Thank is- God for that doctor's appointment. Because if we had to wait two weeks or one week, uh, who knows what would have happened. So I'm very oh, yeah. thankful. Even though I was sad... Um, I wasn't making any breast milk. I'm so happy we found out what the problem was. Oh, yeah, and it it was night and day because as soon as uh, we came home, we mixed up that first thing of formula. Uh, Little dude just, like, slammed that bottle down, crushed it on his forehead, burped, and asked for more. It was good. It was fine. It it solved the problem because, like, when you have a newborn, you only have four problems and four burbs that you can do on them. Are they hungry? (coughs) Are their diaper wet? Do they need to be burped? And is their temperature, like, off or whatever? And if you go down that checklist and get that checklist brain, you can work it out. But uh, one of the checklist items, is he hungry? We just weren't able to solve until we finally admitted it's okay to formula supplement. Yes, it's, it's, oh no. He would like to also say, hey, yeah, go ahead and supplement formula. Exactly. So, you know, uh, supplementing, there's nothing wrong with supplementing with formula. We just didn't know. But mm-hmm. the great thing is, is that we had another doctor's appointment to follow up. She wanted to make sure he was eating and growing and everything. So five days later, we went back to the doctors and he went from seven pounds even, because he lost all 14 ounces, to seven pounds and 12 ounces. Yes. So The goal was to gain one ounce per day and we crushed it. <laughs> <laughs> just absolutely overperformed. And uh, as of the last time we weighed him, he is ballooned up to 10 and a half pounds. Yes, because now he's six pounds, four days. Uh, he's six weeks, four days. And now we tried weighing him ourselves. So what we do is we step on the scale and then we weigh ourselves and then we put him in our arms and then we're like, oh, okay. Yeah. And then we just weigh him like that so Math. according to that he's about 10 and a half pounds yes yay yay so that was uh the first week on back which was you know like the big thing was like to get an idea of what his cry was like uh we now know what his hunger cry is we we have that very much imprinted in the brain ever since then he's been uh nice happy chill uh the the routine has been talking. pretty regular What we weren't ready for was the escalation in hunger. Because, you know, from the hospital, we are told that his stomach is a walnut, so we feed him accordingly. But his stomach expands pretty significantly. Around week two, uh, he was, you know, sipping about two ounces of formula, four ounces of formula over these sessions. And then it was about the next week, he just jumped to eight, wanting eight ounces, wanting 10 ounces. And it's one of those things where you're just not prepared until he just like gobbles it all up in front of you to prove, yeah, he is actually that hungry. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We had, I had to get him because he was going to start fussing and screaming. So we've got to get this video out really quickly. So uh, for the next uh, week and a half, I really wanted to be more productive in the house, but I couldn't. My legs and my arms were so big and the doctor told me the only way to get them down was to stay off your feet. How do you stay off your feet when you're trying to care for a newborn? And you have a dog as well. So it's like, what do you do? Thank goodness for my mom. My mom was here and she really helped. You know, she cooked, she cleaned. I got to stay off my feet and eat a whole bunch of waffles. (laughs) So, and all I I had to do was just nurse my son. I barely changed his diaper because I had to stay off my feet. Mm -hmm. I was only supposed to be on my feet um, to go to the bathroom. That's it. (laughs) So I just kind of sat around for two weeks and got really fat. <laughs> and um, th- and uh, I will say, um, the week after giving birth, so the week after giving birth was really painful because that's when the nerves were starting to turn back on. So not only did I have to stay off my feet, but the nerves started to turn back on. And the only thing that really helped was Motrin. And oh, I was popping it every six hours because the pain was so great. Yes, I do remember. Uh, and it's, it's a helpless situation for the husband because, like, everyone around you is miserable. <laughs> and there's not all too much that you can do to help other than the most. Yeah, everybody uh, is miserable. The only person who, I mean, the baby, well, he's not really miserable. He yeah. would just cry. Just for that first week. That's yeah, all. the that's, first week he was miserable. 
after that week, like, he's doing all right. Um, just, like, try and hold, care, uh, play the soft music, try and get into the routines, try and warm up the milks, try and figure out... I can see through the swaddle, like, he's already, like, messed this diaper. <laughs> like, and... You're a talk master. <laughs> that... One thing I do want to get out is uh, our communication has really like grown through the roof uh, with the birth of Hendrix. Uh, probably the biggest example of that is the way that we do our logs for when he pees, when he poops, when he eats, because that is information that we both need to know. Uh, and that's super good information to keep writing down in time. We, we went through a couple of apps. We went through like a good baby app. We went through like a babyless app. And it turns out like, all we needed to do was just text each other. And <laughs> we have that as just basically our main conversation line throughout our text messages is just like lists of times and lists that he's peed. It's true. It's true. So our communication has gotten uh, uh, really well. It's, got, it's gotten really good. Um, but that first week, our relationship took a big hit. It, oh, yeah, that no. first week, maybe even the first two weeks, our, our relationship took a big, big hit. You've okay. got three people. Oh, I'm sorry. 3.5 people in, okay, in a tiny little one bedroom apartment and everyone's trying to figure out what's wrong with this baby. Everyone's trying to tend to everybody. It, it, it's just, it, and then you had my mom here, then my dad was here, then my sister was here. It was a lot of people with my genetics in this tiny apartment. <laughs> so, you know, our relationship took an emotional hit, but you know, we are much, much better. Everyone's a lot less stressed out because we know exactly what we have to do to take care of him and we're learning day by day i'm learning his schedule and he's learning my schedule we have to make this really quick <laughs> he's starting to bust so i want to say thank you very much for pressing buttons on your phone to watch us uh talk to you today and thank you very much for uh hanging with us throughout this whole journey and here's our son yep. before he starts busting yep. <laughs> here he is little james little yeah. jimmy Little Jamie. All of the little pet names. I'm like, it's so new. It's so new. It is. And we gotta go. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.